for following and liking uh, the Love Dr. Pamela Smith show. And don't forget, um, I really need you all to go over to YouTube and subscribe and follow me. Uh, we got to get, get that going. Um, I like to uh, do more lives on both ends. Okay? So thank you for joining me. Now, here's one of the questions that I had. So let me read this question from one of the... They said, when the relationship has, when you've been in a relationship and it has expired, when should you bow out so that you can possibly stay friends and not uh, end in a hated relationship? Now, you all know what we're talking about. You be in a relationship with someone and you know it doesn't work. So what, what, what are some of those things when it no longer works? You may argue too much. Um, the love has changed, so... The actual connection sexually has changed. Um, you don't really think about them that much. You really don't even miss them that much. You don't ask how they're doing. You don't really check on them that often. Um, and they probably with another woman. So you know that this is happening, or, or, or a man, they're with another man. So this happens a lot within relationships. But what happens is we continue to stay in these type of relationships thinking that they're going to change. So here's the solution that I would say to the person that asks this question, when do you buy out? The best time to buy out of relationships uh, is not when you're upset with each other or you're angry about something. The best time to really move on about a relationship is when it's just not working. Because I talk to you all about this all the time. What's not working? Not working is you have too many uh confrontation difference um you're not able to come together on something um you, you you say you want to be with the person intimately but you really don't um you're not ready to be in a relationship you're not ready to be with anyone and you you have this person hanging on when you know you're not going to do anything and so the best time to to bow out is when you know you're not going to do anything end it just 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 end it so that you can at least see that person in the street and say, wave and say hello. A lot of times you all try to stay in these type of relationships because of one thing that you might like. It may be the sex. It may be the cooking. It may be they have their own place. It may be they have money. It may be do they trap, take you uh, places a lot. It may be uh, they uh, like to uh, go and do things and invite you all the time. But you're really not into that person. And that's pretty much what it is. You're not into them. You're using them. And so if you want to be used by someone that you know that is not into you, you're wasting time. You got to learn how to move on so that you're not used. Because here's what you all say. Well, they hurt me. No, they didn't hurt you. You allowed them to hurt you. Because you knew that that relationship was what it was. It was just a, a, a possibly a friend with benefits. Possibly just someone who said, hey, let's just be friends until I'm ready. And you're not listening. Because you want what you want right now. So I hope that that helped you with that question, my follower, on why you should just bow out and move on. Okay?